All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to Deus Ex. Today we got a lot of stuff to do, as usual, pretty much. As I went to the wrong thing, as usual, pretty much. Uh, so I was actually checking this out before I started to see what I had to do. And this quest update, I didn't even know this quest updated. Uh, this quest with Richard trying to get upstairs to Richard uh, actually updated at some point, which I had no idea of. Apparently I was just looking around the cult place for, like, no reason. Well, actually... After I found the poster with uh, his partner on it, Laborio, and I were talking about him for uh, probably like three seconds, but after I found that poster, I probably should have just got the fuck out of there, but I didn't know this had updated and told me that I should go find Laborio, who's apparently at like a magic shop, yep, called Magia, over in the district that we're in, so I don't know which one I'm going to do. I should probably work on these side quests for as much as I can. Most of them seem to be in this district anyway, so I'll probably just start off at the top, try and validate these permits, if it's even in this district. Uh, it's located above, I don't know, I don't know if this is even here. Where's the map at? Does the map show me anything? This is not what I want. That is not what I want either. There you go. <laughs> I, keep, I keep forgetting it's Alex, it's square to do everything. Did we get anything from the whisper chip? We got something, but Janus provided the wrong algorithm for the frequencies, so they aren't getting deciphered correctly. Can you fix it? I'm a pilot, not a programmer. I can do it, but it's gonna take some time. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use that. Square to like... Uh, usually it's X. If it's, on, if it's on like a PlayStation 4 controller, usually it's X. I'll never get used to that. I also made the mistake of going back and, and I played a little bit of... One of the, well, I guess it was the previous game that came out. I think it was Human Revolution, I think. Uh, I think this is Mankind Divided, and the other one was Human Revolution. I might have those mixed up, because I'm dumb, but... All right, where are we going? We're going over there. Hopefully, this doesn't make us go back. If this makes us go back to the train station, of course, I could probably check the map now. Uh, no, this looks like it's in this district, so... Good. But I went back and played the previous game that came out. That was probably a mistake. Because I'll probably be used to I always the get control the scheme for that game. Even though I played that game for like, I don't know, maybe like 30 minutes or something. Maybe a little bit longer. I'm probably more used to that control scheme for no reason. Is this guy blocking the door? He's like opening it for me. And that same, that same news anchor I was talking about in this game, I'm pretty sure is in the other game too. Uh, what other stuff did I forget about the other game? I don't know. You get that? This is really a restricted zone. I really can't walk in here and, like, talk to anyone. Man. I'm gonna have to sneak in. That's my fucking worst thing ever. Trying to sneak in and do stuff. Obviously, it's restricted because we're doing some not-so-good stuff. Which makes a lot of sense when you think about it. I mean, why would they just let me waltz in and do whatever? Games and hobbies distraction. This place sounds awesome. I wish I could go in there. Cause so I don't know exactly how I'm gonna sneak in there. I might just leave that for later. I thought I could punch that wall too. I might just leave it for later at this point. I, I hate trying to sneak into places. The absolute worst. I could just go in and gun him down, but that would probably be really suspicious. Alright, so... See where I can get to. Here's the actual building itself. I wonder if I can sneak in. See what else is around here. And then I could just like crouch in, just sneak on in. Probably, probably not. This is my favorite part of the game: doing stuff that I'm pretty sure isn't gonna work, doing it, and then watching it not work. No trespassing. Like I said no trespassing, but. The security guard walked out, apparently. I'm pretty sure the security guard is... Yeah, he's just walking back in now. Oh, someone hot... How did they see me? How did they see me? What's... Up? How did he see me? That's all, that's all I want to know. How did he see me? I thought I was home free. I'm like, all right. I snuck in when the security guard was outside. No one saw me. He walks in and then starts shooting me. This is why I don't do stealth, because I, ne I never know, like, what happens to me. I'm always like, what? Alright, maybe if I try it again. There was, like, a little thing I could flip next to me. 
I think that stops them from looking at me as easily, so... Maybe I should do that a little bit faster. Or I could always, like, knock the guard out while he's outside and then try to hide his body somewhere. Now I'm thinking, like, someone who actually knows how to play the game. Yeah, see, he just, like, came back. Here, I'll just fucking knock him out. I don't know if people will see this because I kind of did it in a stupid spot, but... Pick up that shotgun. He doesn't have any loot. Let's drag him. Oh, man, did someone really... Can I, like, throw his body over there? Oh, yeah, I can. I can just, like, toss it over there. Come on. It won't let me toss him. Ah. I'm trying to, like, get, like, a super, like, high angle. All right. Where should I bring him to? Oh, maybe not over there. You know, I'm just going to leave him here. All crumpled up and probably dead. Can't really throw a body too too far, as expected, but... Maybe we'll just leave him over here. I probably need to upgrade my, uh, my arms a little bit to be able to throw stuff better, right? It's probably what I got to do. Lift and throw heavy, yeah, that would probably help with uh, with throwing people around, but unfortunately, I'm not very strong right now. All right, well, the guards knocked the fuck out. Hopefully, no one else comes in here. I'm really surprised that they, like, immediately know. They just, like, immediately know that I'm here and I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, I'll knock this guy out, too. Fuck him. Uh, maybe that guy saw me. I thought there was like a random like maybe secretary in here or something, but oh, and the camera detect me, detected me anyway, so that's why I don't do stealth. What else we got in here? We got a computer I can hack, a throwable printer. Let's see what is this? Oh, we got the code. Sweet. Must have forgot about it from last time. Well, this whole operation is a bust because I've already been <laughs> already been spotted. And I could hack this, maybe. Oh, it's only a one. I don't think I have the password. Alright, well, I wish I could see where the fuck... Apparently, I gotta go over there somewhere. Hacking's a little bit different in this game, too. Trace program initiated. Do I have a stopworm? I do have a stopworm. I don't think I'm going to need it, though. I think I should be fine. Maybe. I might be fine. Access granted. Ah, I'm fine. Can I turn off these stupid cam- Yeah, turn off these cameras. Turn off all these cameras that already saw me. I'm going to turn off all these cameras that already saw me. Oh, one of these is out of order. What the hell? All right, augmentations, permanent registry. I think this is exactly what I want. Anything else around here? Probably not. Oh, what? Did I take too long? Are you kidding me? Did I really take... Oh, man, that's right. I forgot the whole X thing. Let me, let me turn it back off and back on. Oh, there we go. I guess it turned itself off. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, I, I'm never gonna I'm never gonna get used to that. I got into the Og Permit Registry. Hold on. That should give me access now as well. Why am I seeing a security timer? Probably because neither of us have done this before. Cross your fingers. I borrowed this employee ID from a guy in a bar. Yeah, I borrowed it. Oh hey. Why does it say there's only one validation slot? Shit, shit, shit! The city has quotas for this kind of thing. Prague is designed to regulate people to death. What does that mean? The system won't let this guy register two people. Just scan something. There isn't much time. Help one person at least. I want to help the guy out. Yeah, the guy seemed like way more, I don't know, sincere. Arinka was just crazy, oh. so. Edward's documents should hold up to any kind of scanning check now. He's as legit as he can be without actually being legit. I came here to help two people. It doesn't always work that way. Look, you need to get out of there, please. All right, yeah, well, I bet that was the wrong thing Marana, to do. That permit I wasn't able to scan. What happens to Irenka now? She probably ends up in Golem. 
Or she gets arrested for trying to use fake documentation. Thrown into a cell somewhere. I don't know. Doesn't exactly feel like a win, does it? Oh, this guy had a pocket no, sack with them. We did the best we could. Listen, thanks for being one of the good guys. One of the good guys. Alright, let me drag this guy back in here with his friend. They can be asleep together. This guy looks dead. Like, that doesn't look like a normal... <laughs> the poor guy looks like his back is broken. Yeah, that's probably the wrong thing to do. I mean, they probably, they probably set you up for that choice to be like, Hey, hey, look, here's the guy who's, like, you know, really worried about getting sent away and... He's really sad and upset. And then here's the random woman who's like crazy, just sitting in a basement all day doing who knows what. So you probably feel more bad for the guy. You give it to the guy, and it turns out the guy's probably like a mass murderer or something. The woman would have gone on to cure cancer if you would have saved her. Like some random crazy stuff like that it makes you feel bad later. All right, what do we got here? We got health. I think I already increased my health one time. I think I did that. Oh, we got this thing, too. Health. The uh, the health regen delay, apparently. I wanted, I wanted to do the eyes. I was pretty sure I wanted to do the eyes, right? Now that I'm seeing all these other upgrades, I kind of feel like doing something else. Uh, let's see. What would I even want? I think I already, I think I already have it. I already have the vision, but it's probably not as upgraded as I want, but base vision would be decent. Energy re consumption goes down, meh. Highlights useful items within the... See, this could be useful, too. You know, I'm going to do this, and then I'm probably going to go to other stuff. So now it should be able to highlight, like, useful items for me. Oh, well, I don't have enough energy, so that would be a problem. But now it, sh now it should be able to highlight some useful... Useful items for me. What else do we got going on here? You can seek out Laborio. This damn Richard quest that's been haunting me for... Pretty much since the beginning of the game. I know we're not too far into it. But... I've been trying to figure out the whole Richard thing since, like, the very beginning. What the hell is this? Is this a random wall I can hop? Alright, maybe uh, maybe the Great Laborio or whatever the hell his name is will give me a code to get in there. Oh, what kind of cards do they take here? They take... Sodi Bank Express? I don't know how to pronounce that. Castle and Keep? Kind of looks like MasterCard, I think. Sodi Credit? Man, this like Sodi or Sodi, whatever the <laughs> whatever hell is this pronounced. Traveler's Checks? Alright, that's enough of that. I can help you with... I'm looking for Laborio. It is me. You have come for the magic? I'm hoping you can help me make sense of something. A strange encounter I had. A man hiding behind a screen in the sewer, surrounded by followers of some kind. His name is Richard. He used to be partners. Richard is alive. You found him? I'm not sure what I found, but I know I didn't like it. Richard had a way of depriving me things I wanted to say and do, but I couldn't. I am so happy he is alive. Richard and I, we... I was sure that he... I should have known. Richard always said the show must go on. There was nothing entertaining about this. What is he doing down there? How is he doing it? I have not seen Richard in many years. We developed a show together. The evolution of stage hypnosis intensified through technology. Adapted versions of the Casey and DDE designs. A social augmentation? In conjunction with modern hypnotic techniques, something much more powerful than mere persuasion. The communal construction of an alternate reality. For three hours on a Friday night, we guided people into brave new worlds. Uh, he's talking about their hypnosis bullshit. The technology Richard is using to do all this, how does it work? Binaural beats. Richard balances his source transmission through a series of emitters that use targeted neural oscillation to stimulate specific areas of the basal ganglia. Ah, oh, that makes sense, yes. Right. 
Let's assume I'm not familiar with that particular ganglia. Exactly. <laughs> Richard is using a system of emitters that can intensify and adjust his frequency, his message, his intent. Imagine it. He can make the very soul of a transmission pierce into the brainwaves of his target audience. The terrifying thing. 